I was out there on crack for 17 years. A lot of folks respond to him because of where Jamie don't came from. I can speak for that because I was out there on drugs with Jamie. I seen this. You know, we ran them apartments together and on drugs. I slept up under the bridges. You know, we he's, he's running from house to house, couldn't go home. I seen this. My name is Jamie Scott, and I'm the executive director of the Sparrow's Nest. I grew up in Paldo. I witnessed my uncle get murdered at a very early age. I was probably five or six years old, and his wife killed him right in front of me. My auntie, she got poisoned at a bootlegger house, and she lost her life right over there. So I have some pretty strong ties over there and some very strong memories. You know, we was running from car to car, house to house, doing drugs. Didn't know when we were going to eat, didn't know where we were going to sleep, didn't know where we were going to bathe. But now look at it. The Sparrow's Nest is a place that's focused on reaching the least, the last, and the lost. We love people right where they're at, no matter where they're at. I was a junkie who lived with a big dope man, and I was tired of it. Uh, I broke my back. I live in a tent. I've been in a tent since October 8, 2012. Uh, I've never had to do this before. I, I had my own business for 28 years. I worked the same job for 36. I live over in the Bethel at Bethel Homes, and you know, a lot of my neighbors come up here from Bethel Homes to the Sparrowness. I told them about washing clothes, the clothes closet. There's people over there that has younger kids and not able to get clothes. I said, girl, you better go up there to the spare and get you some clothes for them babies. You know, they come on up here and get them and they really, really enjoy it. They really enjoy coming up here, not just getting the clothes, but really talking with everybody, enjoying coming up here. God doesn't look at the outer appearance of man, but he looks at the heart and everyone is important in the eyes of God. If there's anything that, that they can do for you, uh, you know, they've helped me get birth certificate, ID, uh, things that, that Everybody else closes their door in front of you, you know, and that we come and the doors are open with a warm place, a hot cup of coffee, a smile, and I love you, brother. And to me, that means so much in the world. To get a hot cup of coffee in the morning like this, man, it can make your day. It, I never thought something so small could be so great. Anytime you can walk through here and say you're hungry, you will get fed. You will not get turned around no kind of way. I'll hold their hand and take them to a place where they can go and get a hot shower, get a hot meal, get some warm clothes. But most of all, they get that love. Jamie introduced me to Jesus, and Jesus saved my life, really. He's the one that changed me. But Jamie's officially the one that sat down, talked to me. I feel safe here. I know they're out for my interest, you know. They're not out to gain for themselves. They're out to help us. The accident that I had, I lost my home. I lost my belongings uh, since I've lost my parents. Uh, don't have any family. God told me that I do have a family. Everybody here is more like family to me. They're really more like my family now. I mean, they just kept on, you know, pushing at me and pushing at me, and no matter how standoffish I was, they'd never let go. You know, they always just kept pushing. And I mean, I get clothes here, otherwise I wouldn't have been clothed. And when I came in here and stood right here, I seen Jamie walk through that door. And I mean, I lit up like a light bulb. I felt at home right then because I knew who I was around that been there where I been that can help me stay clean, can help my mind stay motivated with the Lord and keep me on the right track. I never thought that I'd be walking back <laughs> through there sober. I'm just reminded of, you know, of Jesus. One scripture that stood out to me and says, one of the people said, can any good thing come from out of Nazareth? You know. And when I look at that scripture, I think about my life. When some people probably say, can any good thing ever come out of Paul, though? And God did it for me. And he's still doing it.